Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video we'll be working on a Ford Focus MK3, this is the third generation Ford Focus from year 2012 to year 2019 guys. In today's video we'll explain guys how to remove and replace seat belt buckle. We're talking about front seat belt buckle. Driver side, passenger side, procedure will be the same guys. Uh, we'll need to go ahead and remove the seat out of the car, we'll explain why, so make sure you stay with us until the end. This is guys your seat belt buckle right there, stay with us and we'll explain how to do that. Quick introduction guys, every car we get at the shop we make at least 200 videos including that Ford Focus. Why? Because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please guys subscribe to the channel and like the video for all the work we do. If you want to save even more money on par uh, car parts and tools guys check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see what tools and parts we use in our videos. So let's go ahead start on it. First we need to show you how to remove the seat, get it out of the car and then we'll continue with the seat belt uh, buckle removal. So let's go ahead and start on the driver's seat removal now. First guys, you will have to disconnect your car battery at least one hour before you guys remove the seat. Why? Because it's part of the airbag system. So always guys disconnect your car battery at least one hour okay, before you remove the seat. If you want to see how to properly disconnect the car battery, we have the video on the channel, check it out. We already have ours disconnected, so we will continue with the seat removal now. So we're going to go guys, okay, to the uh, driver's seat now and how come on this side we already have the passenger seat removed so I can have more room too guys. So we're going to remove the bolts on the back first. So we're going to scoot the driver's seat all the way to the front. I'm gonna get dirty in that car, I'm telling you guys, it's terrible. Okay, and we're going to guys use a Torx 50. Okay, let me focus quick, start looking a bit. You can find a link for that too in the description of the video below. Go ahead guys and get the two bolts, okay, for the seat loose. Okay, let's see how tight those things are because some of them sometimes they'll have thread locker, others guys will have rust. It really depends. But if it doesn't want to come out, okay, what we'll do, we'll go ahead and get the big breaker bar. So we are getting guys the bigger tools, breaker bar here because otherwise, okay, we won't be able to remove these seats guys, they're extremely, extremely tight. So, let's see if that big two will actually help us achieve that. Usually once you do one or two revolutions they start going pretty easy but at first okay it's not easy at all guys. Especially if you live in a climate that you have more humidity or you have more snow you will experiencing having more rust as well. So the second bolt is right there by the seat belt. Okay you can see where it's located. So we'll get a little impact and see if we can do them with that too. Perfect. Okay, check out the amount of rust on the boat. Okay, that's why guys, it wasn't easy to remove that. And that's normal, that is a six year old car. And even though it hasn't been in a climate where it's exposed to actually a lot of snow, you still develop some rust. So, perfect guys, we're ready here. What do we do now? Okay, we're going to grab the seat and we're going to scoot it all the way to the back. Now, if you have power electric seats, guys, you will have to have your car battery connected up to this point. And after you scoot it to the back, you can disconnect the car battery and then wait one hour before you disconnect the wiring harness and we'll explain, guys, uh, where that one is now. So, we have, again, two that we need to get loose on the front. Just the same like the ones that we did on the back. I've noticed that the one on the front usually develop less rust than the one on the rear. I don't know why. Maybe the way the boat sits on the suspension, those are a little bit higher on the frame. So I don't think they get as much rust, guys. One is out, second one now. Perfect, what do we need to do next? Okay, we need to go ahead, okay, and lay the seat down, okay, and now on the front, that's where the connector is with seven millimeter socket, guys. We're going to go ahead, okay, and get that bolt loose. Found me a free bag of Cheetos here, I guess. 
And once you get the bolt loose, just grab the connector and pull it out. Careful not to damage any airbag wires or anything like that. Pull it to the side, guys. Okay. We have a, oh, we found a gold earring. It says love. Also, you never know what you're gonna find. But usually it's nasty stuff, guys, that you don't wanna know about. So, we'll go ahead, grab the seat, guys. Be careful with your center console. Don't scratch it. Okay, steering wheel, everything. You have to be careful. Grab the seat. Okay, and it got stuck behind the rear seat. Okay, and pull it out, guys. Okay, just like that, you can see. And the seat came out. So it doesn't matter guys if you have leather seats or non-leather seats, uh, these all of them came out of a Ford Focus. So we'll demonstrate on our old seats here how to do that. So this is guys your seat belt buckle. Okay, as you can see right there, this is guys, okay, the seat belt buckle. So how we guys remove, okay, and replace that seat belt buckle. Pretty simple. We need to get the seat out because guys you have one bolt that you cannot access with the seat in the vehicle. Unless you remove the center console, then you might need, uh, you might be able to, but it's easier to remove the seat than the center console. Now that bolt, usually it's with a Torx, uh, Torx bolt guys, Torx 50, star looking bit, okay, like the one we have right there. So, we'll go ahead, okay, remove the bolt. Sometimes those bolts have thread lockers, so if you have blue or red thread locker, you need to install some as well. Now, something else we need to do guys, you need to follow, okay, where, where that wire goes and it comes to like okay right there so I will try okay to bend it a little bit so I can show you right here on the bottom side on the back there is one plastic tube that you push down so when I push it down one person will push it push the connector in okay let me let's see if somebody can hold the camera okay like that perfect okay so I can grab it with two hands, so I can kind of feel where that Okay, it's still stuck. Let me let me just see if I can twist it guys a little bit towards you. Okay, it's this one on the bottom. No, the one on top, we don't have one. It's just the one on the bottom. You can see how it moves here, but... Okay, perfect. Came out, guys. Now all we have to do, grab it and pull it out. You have to disconnect your wire if you have any clips, zip ties, anything like that. And once you do all that, guys, grab it, pull it out. And this is your seat belt buckle out of the car. Okay, you can see it just like that. So you can see not very complicated guys to remove it, uh, re replacement and installing it guys, practically it's in uh, reverse order we took it apart. Hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to do that job. Thank you for watching, please subscribe to our channel for more videos and see you guys next time.